Hi, I'm Jason Swartz. I'm one of the co-organizers of SF Scala and the author of Learning Scala. I have a special guest with me today, Alexei Kravrov. Alexei, you were known for AI by the Bay, for Scala by the Bay, for SF Scala. What's this new conference, Scale by the Bay? So Scale by the Bay is a natural evolution of uh, Scala by the Bay, uh, which I had the privilege to work with you from 2014. On, right. and which is basically uh, evolving into, I would say, uh, much more than Scala. Scala is uh, one of the cornerstones of it, uh, but we always had more than Scala. We had data pipelines, uh, we had operations, uh, we had functional programming in, in general. So we basically slowly transitioned to scale through Scala E last year, which was not a plural right. of Scala, but a rather Scala plus scale. And now basically we're all scale, uh, but we still have Scala as one of the hearts uh, and pillars of, of, of the new conference. That's fantastic. Uh, what can previous attendees to uh, Scala by the Bay find that's new at scale by the Bay? So uh, I think we kind of formalized the uh, three key tracks which people who do Scala uh, uh, work on. And I think they're applicable beyond Scala. So we have functional programming, we have uh, reactive microservices, and we have fast data. And all of these uh, tracks uh, apply much to much more than Scala. For instance, uh, Haskell is one of the languages Scala people also like, and Runarb Jarnison the author of the Functional Programming Scala book is now actually speaking about Haskell, which he's using a talk. So I think he's uh, one of the examples uh, of uh, uh, kind of uh, generalization. And I like to think of functional programming in Scala now as thoughtful software engineering, right? So if you can nice. do something thoughtfully, uh, I think that's a better characterization of you rather than a Scala software engineer. I think uh, you are a thoughtful software engineer, and you can take Haskell, you can you know drop down to Java if uh, life forces you to, right? Uh, but uh, that's how uh, I think we always uh, uh, thought of uh, our speakers, of our attendees as thoughtful software engineers who can take anything life throws at them, uh, take a step back, think why are they, are they doing this? How should they do it properly? And then apply this to programming. And obviously in microservices, uh, you can do it multiple ways. The whole idea is that you can be polyglot, you can compose different things. And that whole area thing now is becoming more mature. There are best practices. There are things like uh, Linkerd, which is uh, uh, commercial finagle. Uh, there is Envoy, which is a proxy from Lyft, and we have a workshop on that, right? So, and the, the workshop is run together with Google uh, on Istio, Envoy, gRPC, uh, the day before the conference, and that's generally, uh, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's a system architecture question, right? So which transcends uh, programming languages. Uh, so, so I would say we, we have uh, uh, scale and space, and we have tools to prove it. That's fantastic, it sounds like this conference is going to have a much greater audience than Scala by the Bay. Do you have uh, more sponsors to match? Uh, I'm really uh, honored and uh, surprised to report that we have uh, a triple number of sponsors from, wow. from last year. And uh, we have uh, sponsors come in at a very high level, at partner level sponsorships from Apple and IBM. Uh, Twitter is our host, uh, returning host this year, so they provide us a wonderful uh, venue, uh, the Twitter Annex building, uh, where we'll have uh, three main tracks and the fourth unconference track, and multiple uh, areas for folks to, to meet. So the hallway track is usually at least uh, fourth or a third of all the uh, people, and uh, we have ample room for that. So the you know we have basically three top level sponsors, we have six platinum sponsors. Uh, including Iterbel, where we're recording this right now uh, for the SF Scala meetup. Uh, we have nine gold sponsors and we have six silver sponsors, and one of them, Stripe, is actually a diversity sponsor. So they actually uh, use their sponsorship to send some uh, women in technology uh, to our conference who would otherwise not be sent. Uh, by the companies, so uh, I'm, you know, uh, very honored by uh, the fact that uh, existing sponsors returned at double level. New sponsor sponsors came in at very high levels. All of them are sending engineers. I must uh, emphasize that 70% of sponsorship is actually passes for the engineers. So companies are sending dozens of engineers. Apple alone, I believe, sends about uh, 30, 40 engineers. Uh, so uh, we are very happy to have. Uh, our sponsors uh, who partner with us on multiple levels, including uh, learning experience for the engineers. 
Uh, it's fantastic. That's so many sponsors and uh, Apple's huge. That's really surprising that they're really getting involved with your conference this time. Uh, I understand Helena uh, Adelson, a huge figure in the Scala community, will be one of your keynote speakers at the conference. Not only that, she actually opens the conference. So she uh, uh, came last year and joined the panel, and uh, uh, she was instrumental in connecting Apple to us. And she keynotes the conference. Uh, it's it's very interesting to, to me because I knew about Apple work in the space. Uh, I knew that it uh, acquired companies where some of our speakers uh, work. Uh, I know that Apple Maps is based on Scala, so I kind of know uh, a lot of different things. But uh, again, I think we'll have to see and hear Helena to talk more about this. I know that Apple has pretty strong kind of uh, guidelines about what they can cannot talk about, but the topic of her uh, uh, keynote, uh, it's about uncertainty and complexity in um, in distributed systems. And if I understand correctly, uh, that's about, about using scientific methods to manage uh, distributed systems themselves, which I think Apple needs at, at its scale. Uh, I, you know, I think as the rest of us, I'll have to to wait for the opening and, and, and see uh, the details, but I'm very excited uh, uh, to have Apple open and keynote the conference. That's going to be a great opening uh, keynote talk there. Now, I understand a lot of people get into Scala because they work with Apache Spark, and you have one of the core uh, Apache Spark contributors at the con uh, also speaking at the conference. That is correct. Uh, so, Matei Zuharia, he's a regular. I think he was there at uh, Scala by the Bay when it was first run under that name. And of course, he was there in 2015 when we had Big Data Scala with all the Smack Stack letters represented by the founders or uh, creators. So, uh, Matei is the creator of uh, Apache Spark. I had the privilege of hosting him at the very first Spark meetup, which was one of SF Skull in 2012. Uh, and and uh, Matei is now a professor at Stanford. He's the chief technologist at Databricks. He has a new project called Wealth, which takes abstraction of big data operations deeper and drops it down into the system level. And so he calls now in Rust where he provides a set of primitives, as I understand, uh, that uh, multiple uh, data pipelines can use. So, he, But in this talk, he, he talks about both. He talks about Apache Spark and Weld, this new project, and uh, uh, he talks about composability, which is a crucial point in functional programming. And I think, uh, you know, being in the FP world, we know the value of composability. Right. Uh, but I think for the general audience, it will be uh, extremely insightful to uh, to learn what composability means for, for data abstractions. For all of us to catch up with Matei is, is a privilege. So I'm uh, very happy to report that we have, in fact, uh, we added the content of this keynote yesterday. So it's, it's fresh of the presses, Matei keynote second day. I can't wait to find out what he's going to talk about in his new Rust-based technology framework. Uh, I do hear that a lot of people have been using Apache Flink, uh, Netflix, and other places. This is another hot big data framework, and you have Stefan Ewan speaking about that. That is correct. So, so I, again, I had the honor of hosting the very first uh, Apache Flink uh, presentation in San Francisco in 2015 with all the four co-founders of uh, Data Artisans, the company behind Flink, and Stefan was actually doing that talk. And so uh, I am uh, very interested in the progress they've made. I know that companies like Zalando are using Flink. It's a streaming first uh, sequence. And uh, uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to catch up with Flink, see uh, how the adoption was like, what are the best practices, and how they stack up against other streaming frameworks. And uh, uh, it's, I think, the very first time we have uh, a Flink founder keynote. So I'm looking forward to that. That's fantastic. I can't wait to see that. Uh, this is a really huge lineup. One thing I'd like to know is what kind of panels do you have this year? So traditionally, we start and end in the community setting, right? We're right. all about community, so the keynote is a single track, where we, uh, when then we disperse through the three tracks, and then in the evening, we gather together for the panels. Uh, this year, we have a panel uh, every evening. And uh, uh, as opposed to the last year when I moderated all the panels, I think I now kind of uh, reached my level of incompetence for some of the panels, and I invited uh, top folks in the space to, to moderate. Uh, them. So uh, the first panel is about uh, real-world architectures, uh, legends of Twitter and beyond. 
So we have uh, several uh, uh, principals from Twitter who went into the world and founded companies based on what they've done at Twitter, such as Evan Weaver, who had a data systems and now uh, is the founder of Fauna uh, DB. Uh, William Morgan, uh, who worked with the uh, Twitter architectures and Finagle, and now is the CEO of Buoyant, uh, the company behind Linkerd, a commercial open source and third party third part version of Finagle. Uh, Mark McBride, who uh, founded a Turbine Labs, which simplifies deployment and continuous delivery. Uh, and essentially, we, we cover uh, what these folks learn uh, from Twitter and what they uh, kind of take into the world and what key business insights they have, whether they can add value to their customers. And Helena will be also on this panel, so we call it Legends of Twitter and Beyond. Uh, so nice. that's the first panel. Uh, the second panel is Functional Programming for Machine Learning. And again, I think we're in a minority on that one. Uh, in the sea of Python, we uphold functional programming for machine learning, but companies like Stripe have huge successes with this. Uh, Tuct is also on this panel. Salesforce Einstein is implementing Spark and Scala. And Vitaly Gordon, uh, Director of uh, Engineering and Data Science at Salesforce Einstein, will moderate this panel. Uh, and the third panel is called the Fun of Functional Programming. And we have some of the great uh, figures in our community uh, talk about what makes functional programming fun and what makes us tick, why, you know, uh, a lot of folks uh, in our community live longer and happier lives, programming better programming languages. I think at the end of the day, uh, that, mm -hmm. that was really matters, right? So I think, and, and Dick Wall and Bill Venners are actually going to be on this panel, Dick is going to moderate it, and Bill is going to be on the panel, uh, and with some of the other beloved figures in the community. So that's, that would be a very good way to end the conference on, on Saturday. That's a fantastic way to end the conference. Uh, Alexi, thanks for coming on. This sounds like it's going to be an amazing conference this year. Jason, thanks for, uh, for speaking with me. And uh, uh, I'm uh, hoping all of you guys uh, will come and join us. And uh, if you need to uh, learn some Scala, I think you can find a very good book, Learning Scala, which you. Uh, you know Jason wrote for O'Reilly. Uh, so we we'll look forward to see, seeing all of you at Google on November 15th and at Twitter uh, on November 16th to 18th.